All right, so in the last reaction, we studied uh, two important things. One, we studied about 2,4-D and P, 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, which is used to test carbonyl compound. On adding carbonyl compound to 2,4-D and P, or on adding 2,4-D and P in a system having carbonyl compound, there would be appearance of a orange to red crystal. That becomes the test for carbonyl compound. That's the important part of the last reaction that we have studied. Next thing that we studied about was oxime. For example, this is our oxime. Right? This, function, this is a functional group and we identified this in the last reaction and we, we, we learned that this particular, this kind of compound having this particular functional group are called oxime. Alright, now this rearrangement is about the rearrangement of oxime and this reaction is called Beckman's rearrangement. So let's see what happens in Beckman's rearrangement. Suppose I start with this oxime and added little H2SO4 into it. Now H2SO4 will do nothing but produce H plus ion into the system and that sulfate ion produced or bisulfate ion produced will not participate in any reaction because it is highly stable. So this is equivalent to just write H plus, right? So people may write just H plus or they may also show the whole uh, acid like H2SO4. Now when I add H2SO4 in system there will be flourishment of H plus ion. Now that S plus ion needs electron, so that will hunt for electron rich site. Electron rich site can be this oxygen which has lone pair, can be this nitrogen which has lone pair. But this nitrogen is sp2 hybridized and on sp2, on increasing the hybridization state, percentage S character increases. This is sp3 hybridized, right? Percentage S character is 25% here. This is sp2 hybridized. Percentage S character is 33% here. So we say that oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, but that is in the same hybridization state, not in different hybridization state. Here, this oxygen will be a better basic site than this nitrogen. So H plus will preferably come to this oxygen for electrons. Okay. So H plus came and asked for electron, this oxygen gave its electron. When this oxygen gave its electron, it will develop a plus charge on it self. So this is the first step of the reaction. After this, this oxygen realize that it has some plus charge on it and that's why it is electron deficient. So it will start to pull away the electron of the oxygen nitrogen bond and come out and try to come out as water in neutral form. But then this nitrogen will start to develop a plus charge and this nitrogen is sp2 hybridized. So then that is not possible because sp2 hybridized nitrogen is very electronegative and a plus charge cannot develop on a highly electronegative atom because that brings about high instability in the molecule and hence in the system. So what happens here is this orbital in which the electron resides. This is, suppose if this is parallel to methyl, that this can be the other way around as well. Suppose methyl is on the other side and hydrogen is on this side and this orbital is parallel to hydrogen. So whatever the case be, whichever group is parallel to this orbital will migrate from this carbon to this nitrogen. When this migration occur, what happens is this methyl, if this is migrating, this is breaking its bond with carbon and forming a bond with nitrogen. So whatever deficiency is there on nitrogen because of removal of this H2O is compensated by the electronic density of this bond. In turn, this carbon will start to be electron deficient. So we are removing the deficiency of nitrogen and we are creating deficiency on carbon 
and carbon has a reputation of holding plus charge because it is least electronegative. So in that way, we are optimizing the stability into the system. So this methyl will migrate. This hydrogen can't migrate being on the other side because this crisscross type of transition is not possible. So the electron is transferred only from one orbital to another if they are parallel. When they are perpendicular, the transition is almost zero. When it, they are at angle, the transition is less efficient, but still it's there. But if they are on the other side, the transition is not possible. So only this methyl will migrate, this hydrogen cannot. So this methyl will migrate into this orbital. From this side, the oxygen comes out. So let's see what happens next. In the next step, the plus charge will develop on this carbon. Fine. This water molecule comes out. This methyl forms a bond with nitrogen. So how does it look like? Methyl came to nitrogen. This hydrogen is as it is and this carbon develops a plus charge. This water goes away. Right? So nitrogen has a lone pair and three bonds. Now this water which goes away in the next step will revisit its origin because water is an electron rich site because of oxygen having this lone pair so this water molecule will again attack the carbon which is having a plus charge and has no other source to fulfill its deficiency of electron so in that case this water has to come back and the electron of this oxygen will go into the orbital of carbon when that happens, oxygen forms a bond with carbon, oxygen develops a plus charge and we have seen this situation numerous times before that oxygen will get rid of its plus charge by blowing off one of its hydrogen. So when oxygen forms a bond, it develops a plus charge and this plus charge can be dispensed off by removing that H plus anything, anything in the system, any conjugate base, any other water molecule will take away that H plus. So this becomes neutral. And as you can see, this is kind of, this is not enol, but this is similar to enol. When you have a situation like this, this we call it as enol, right? This is the alkene and this is the alcohol. And this totem arises very quickly to give us a keto form. This is tautomerism. We have seen this. So this is a, this is also a kind of tautomerism. This is enol tautomerism. This is also a kind of tautomerism because this, this C double bond N, the pi bond, if this shifts to C double bond O, then the strongest double bond of organic chemistry will be produced. And there will be, if, if you carry on the tautomerism of this compound, if you shift this pi bond at this position, and bring this hydrogen to this carbon, this nitrogen. So what you will get is this. Right? Now how will that occur? We have seen the mechanism of tautomerism before. In case you have a problem then uh, you should try out the, you, you should go to the lecture of tautomerism and then revisit it. Or you should just try and think of how it should, can be done. You have in the system H plus, consider acid catalyzed tautomerism. Start with H plus and think how you can bring a plus charge, a pi bond at this position to give you a little bit of a hint. How a C double bond is generated, we have seen numerous times before. But just to quickly revise, this oxygen has a lone pair, right? If a bond has to be made, this is a completely filled orbital here. And there has to be an empty orbital at this position. Uh, the, the, this carbon must have an empty orbital. And then the electronic transition will start and a bond will be produced. So somehow you have to develop a plus charge on this carbon. And in order to develop a plus charge on this carbon, this nitrogen must pull the electron. And when this nitrogen pulls the electron, when nitrogen itself develops a plus charge. And how this nitrogen is going to develop a plus charge? When the H plus will come and ask for electron to this nitrogen. When this nitrogen forms a bond, the plus charge comes on nitrogen. When the plus charge comes on nitrogen, 
the electrons will shift towards nitrogen and then it will become neutral. When the electron shifts towards nitrogen, it becomes neutral, but the problem is the carbon develops a plus charge. When carbon develops a plus charge, the oxygen gives its electron to carbon and form a bond. And the plus charge vanishes from carbon but develops on oxygen because oxygen gave its electron to carbon. And now oxygen can get rid of its electron uh, of its plus charge by moving away by blowing off this H plus. Is this same as this? Yes. So that's how tautomerism occurs.